Well, let's talk a little bit about Indomitian Sue and Kellen Flynn. We had an essay contest, and Kellen was the winner. Here's how it all came together. Enjoy. We've seen Indomitian Sue interact with kids throughout the years. They are awed by his size, engaged by his playfulness, and impressed with his commitment to education. That's why it made sense to have an essay contest for elementary school students. It's going to be fun for me that they're going to be able to have an essay uh, to say why they want to do it, why they uh, look forward to doing it. Hopefully they're excited to do it because it's me as well, but uh, it's pretty much more for an educational piece, but at the same time have some fun with it. The challenge was on, and while Sue was sacking quarterbacks, kids were writing essays. Ultimately, the winner was Kellen Flynn, a sixth grader from University Liggett School in Gross Point Woods. This little guy lives through the Lions. He has a sports blog. He has an encyclopedic memory. And he had people in his corner. Actually, it was my mom who saw it on TV, was watching the news and saw the essay contest and knew it was right up Kellen's alley, being the um, football lover he is. Even still, he needed some pointers. You know, the first thing is you've got to have a dynamic beginning. You've got to hook and reel that person in so, they th so that they don't drop your essay in the trash. What a play. And Dominican Sue brings him down. My name is Kellen Flynn, an 11 year old sixth grader and huge Lions fan reporting from team headquarters. It has his personality in it, and I thought, this is good. Good enough to win a selection which evidently set off a frenzy in the Flynn house. Everybody came out, and Kellen got wide eyes when you told him he was the winner, and then he started his little bouncing up and down, um, hearing about all of what he was going to get to do. It was just so exciting to know that. I get to interview Sue. So we went to work. Professional tips from the guy who talks to Sue every week. And when you're asking a question, you can feel free to say something like, every time I watch, I'm noticing that it's not just one person who's blocking, blocking you. you. <gasps> it's two, it's three. You can make an observation before mm -hmm. you ask a question. The big day arrived and Kellen was ready. Mom tried to loosen him up. Ah, uh, do you think he'll actually stand up and do the dance? I hope. <laughs> Dad helped get him dressed. We'll probably have to be ready in case Channel 7 offers you a contract. And when he hit the big stage, Kellen was undaunted. Definitely so, show it to me. That's where he goes like this, and then he goes <laughs> like that. Okay. And it would just mean a lot to us if you could do that. So I gotta us. make sure I get it correct. It's like this. You go like that, and, and then, then you go like, like this. Yeah, just I'm like that. Just show my muscles. Okay. Mm -hmm. I'll make sure I'll try and do that the next time I get a sack. He was ready. He came in there firing. He had some really good questions. I hope you enjoyed the interview. You can see it on DetroitLions.com and also on WXYZ.com. But pretty cool that Indomitian does something like that for the kids. It is. It kind of shows a lighter side. You know, he gets such a bum rap sometimes. Some of it he earns, but other times he would just assume the type of person he is. He's a character guy, and you saw right there how natural he was with Kellen in that situation. And quite an honor for that young man. It is, and I like the fact that you look at Indomitian Sue, as you mentioned, Rob. There's so much that's been said about him, but there's not a lot that we see behind behind the scenes that goes into the life of a professional football player. And for Ndamukong Sue, he's changed the way he's gone about things. And to his credit, I think it's paid off well for him.